Let me show you a very quick exercise on cleaning up sub D and redirecting the flow. which is really an important exercise. So let's run a bevel here with, I would say, two segments. Maybe like that, right? And let's just bring it a bit higher. Okay, cool. Let's apply this. And then we're going to clean all these, you know, sharps. And then we need to connect them. So let's just run a loop here in the middle. And we go going to move it to the right. So let's just align it here and combine it, mirror this. And then we're going to cut this from the top here using book, come on, box cutter. And then from this side as well, right? And then there. And we also need one more line in here, okay? So yeah, this is why I'm not recommending sub D for beginners. And this is also why we're not teaching sub D in our course, the hard surface accelerator, because simply it's too complex, it's too, it's too abstract, okay? So here we're gonna connect these two, run uh, another loop here. Let's just align it here. Whoops, select this one and then align it here. There we go. Combine this, then we're gonna run another loop on this side because you want to ease off the size of quads. You don't want them to be so big and in one place and small in another. We're gonna ease off this uh, kind of a curvature here too. This could be already straight. And then we're gonna mirror to the bottom and then let's solve this corner, which is really important. This should be dropped down. Okay, and then we're gonna combine these two here. Let me just turn off box cutter. Combine these two. Then we're gonna run another loop here. Let's flatten it. And what we can do now is uh, we can run a loop here. And then we can run loop here like this, right? There we go. And mirror to the other side, boom. And that's more or less, you know, it's gonna be all right, right? More or less, okay? This looks like evenly spaced topology, okay? That's how you do it. Now, the issue we have in now is that we have one, you know, one, two, three, four, five quads here, but we don't really need so many on this side. You know, this is a mess. So what we can do, we can actually simplify it, right? By, you know, grabbing this one and moving it forward a bit. So let's just uh, move it forward here. So now we're gonna grab these and move them backwards here, combine these two. And you will see that we have an interesting thing. If I remove these two elements, we're going to have a quad. Now what we could do, we could subdivide, I mean, mirror this in the middle with one more line. And then if you go and collapse these, right, like that, we will not need these two. And here in the middle, we could simply dissolve this and, you know, run a diamond, right? And then you are converting this from one, two, three, four, five, six, to literally two, right? You know, the same thing you could do here on the side, okay? So you could just simply collapse it. In fact, I don't even think we need these here, so we could collapse these. So let's just, you know, nuke these, right? And these two. And then nuke this one and simply move this one back a little bit, and there you go. And then you, you know, then you collapse in these two, right? So, I mean, these three. So you collapse these three and you don't need these, right? And then you do the same thing here. So we remove this one, right? And then boom, you got diamond, right? You see, like, it's really complex, kind of like a puzzle. And if you really don't know, for example, like, you know, modeling tools and menus and how to model in general and how to you know what what's going on in blender you're gonna get confused so this is why we don't teach this in our basic course the hard surface accelerator it will be just simply too much but you know if you want to learn the basics of hard surface modeling and you want to understand how the menus work how the how to model in general you know how blender works uh, how to render, how to create better blockouts, all the basics, then I would strongly recommend starting with this course. It's the best course on the market right now, 5,000 students and above, and we have close to 1,000, you know, five-star reviews. People love this course, and it's a really, really tight curriculum created based on the feedback from 100,000 students. So 
you know, we have a lot of experience and we know how to teach these basics. And then you can move forward towards add-on workflow. You see, like, if you want to go to sub D level, you really want to work with add-ons because it's so much bloody quicker, right? Now, on top of this, I would run a bevel. So uh, let's run a bevel. And by the way, if you're interested in the course, just uh, go ahead and read about it. It's on our website. The link is in the video description and in a comment pin under the video. So here you press A and we're going to adjust the size of it. But we do have a bit of a problem here. We need to switch this bevel to a different angle. You see that it's catching this angle here. So what we want to do right is uh, go to one more time AA and we're going to switch the angle. Let me just show you the wireframe, right? So let's go here. See, that's the problem, right? So we're going to go to bevel and switch the angle to something like 60 and it's going to clean these unnecessary you know uh, topology here uh, because we don't need them and sub d will not catch them let's just do this nonsense and go with sub d so control three and there you go really nicely uh, you know uh, space sub d now you're going to get a bit of stretching here on this side because we have different size of polygons what you could do you could add more you know more topology here uh, for example a bit more topology here then you know some some topology here and maybe here in the middle and it's going to ease off this stretching here you see it's like i told you it's important to understand um, how this all works because even though you will fix the flow and you're going to have stretching because you you, you know you're simply going towards more uh, towards larger polygons uh, on this side so you see like we got a bit of stretching here but then it comes down and you know go to this side and it's really clean so that's how it works okay cool well that's it for the video hope you enjoyed the exercise and like i said if you want to learn the hard surface modeling properly you know the proper basics how to really do it well and how to get started as efficiently as possible with blender and hard surface grab our course the hard surface accelerator the link is in the video description and in the comment pin under the video there's a lot of information on our website on the course you can also hop on our discord which has 8,000 people and you can ask around Tons of people finish the course and they love it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.